Oh my god, it's cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. I think I know where, why it's cold. It's this thing. Yeah, I know, I know you are hungry, I know. I tried giving him pizza. He just keeps on saying that. Hungers. Yeah, yeah, Frostmourne hungers. I know, I know. <sighs> what should I do? Oh, I know. An artwork. That includes Frostmourne, of course. Also, guys, when it's dark outside, Always remember to use some kind of reflex. I mean, come on. We don't want to get hit by a car or anything. Anyway, starts to warm up. So let's take away these. Okay, so, hey, I'm Double Archangel, welcome to my channel. Now today, for all of you Blizzard fans that still are out there, let's say old school Blizzard fans, I'm gonna make a custom artwork of the Lich King versus Sylvanas Windrunner in Ice Crown Citadel, or well, at least close to Ice Crown Citadel. And you will hang on when I make this time lapse. It's not a tutorial, so I won't go in the voiceover through any techniques that I use. But still, I hope you enjoy this one as well. And if you like my videos, please like and subscribe. And share the videos with others. And you can find more of my art on double underscore art angel in Instagram or Double Archangel on Divine Art. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this one as well. And it took me quite some effort to make this one. So, giving a thumbs up and commenting on what you think about this one would mean lots to me. And also helps out this channel to stay alive and thrive. So, I take you there now. Let's begin. Okay, so I started to build the shapes of Ice Crown Citadel basically with uh, these vector shapes that I just mashed together to so that they would represent the silhouette of that huge castle in the background. I even added a small throne on the pedestal on top of it. After this, I started to mash together the glacier with about eight pictures or so, uh, blending them together and uh, making them one unique north trend never seen before. So I basically wanted this background image to be in three layers. Uh, the orbs in the far background and then uh, the big glacier in the middle and then a foreground with a scene that would be suited to be a dual ground for Sylvanas and Arthas the Lich King. I even topped it off with making this edge of this glacier in the in in the lower edge of the picture. So 
So by shading out details on the ICC uh, shape, I got it to look more 3D-like and, uh, well, basically looking like the castle in the background as a silhouette instead of just a patch of some sort. So when I was satisfied with uh, the composition, after adding some stones near Ice Crown Citadel to make that entrance that is so, well, breathtaking when you play the game, uh, I added uh, some more shadings to the actual castle so it would look like the one that is represented in the game. And with help of a gradient layer, I blended together the whole scene when I was done. So adding the highlights to the background and also to the whole scene and adding Aurora Borealis also up in the sky made Northrend even more Northrend. A cold place. So I base the references of this picture from my head actually, as I remembered that the game looked like. Uh, then after this I started to build the Sylvanas and unfortunately my computer decided not to record this stage, so I had to improvise and make this uh, breakdown of my characters from the layers. So you basically can see that I built this from scratch. I apologize for the bad quality. So this was a little easter egg that I added to the picture. The meeting stone in the background, in the far background. And there's also a raiding party that I will make later on. Also as an easter egg in this picture. Nobody will see it ever unless they know about it, but well, now you do. And those who know a little lore about WoW knows that Sylvanas is an undead banshee queen. So this is why I made her eyes red and her skin pale. And I decided that the, the force magic or whatever, black magic, dark magic, shadow magic that she uses will emit this magenta pink kind of glow with some black in it. And I tried to make the, uh, well, beloved old school Sylvanas before she became the hated one that just betrayed everyone.
when I was done with Sylvanas, I started with Artas, the same thing. Uh, I made his highlights with this teal kind of turquoise color. And here we have Frostmourne, my sword, that likes to call out his name, but doesn't like pizza. So Arthas was a prince, or is a prince, uh, but also now a lich king uh, that uh, basically sold, sold his soul to Frostmourne and uh, murdered his father, the king. I won't go in on lore that more detailed than that, but He's, he's a bad guy in the WoW universe. At least when you are a player, you, he's a boss. This is Sindragosa. Uh, courtesy to a 3D model. And here is the little easter egg that I was talking about. My raiding party with a mage, a hunter, a paladin, a priest and I guess a rogue. So anyway, we are finishing off with this snow overlay that I added and put some uh, motion blur on to make it look stormy. And uh, I'm Double Archangel, thank you for watching and I catch you in the next one.